<laughs> Fire Emblem Engage. It releases this week, and I haven't done a lot of talking about the game. Just a few sparing news stories here and there. But that changes today! Because Nintendo is doing something with Fire Emblem Engage that is showing extreme confidence in its release. Yeah, we had previews like a week or two ago, and they were very glowing about the game, especially from a visual perspective. But a lot of you out there are worried about it not being like three houses, there's no waifus this time around, and there's not this whole three path divergent stuff and this whole school thing going on. Some of you really love that, and maybe they'll revisit a Fire Emblem like that in the future. But this is a more traditional Fire Emblem with obviously its own quirks and twists, the animal aspect, the rings that bring in you know former characters from past games. But Nintendo is doing something with it this week that is a little bit out of the ordinary, and this has to do with its reviews. Now, typical Nintendo review embargoes are usually either two days or a day before a game comes out. They're pretty consistent about Wednesday being the review embargo, but every now and then they'll have a Thursday. Usually the games you see on Thursday will be, you know, maybe something like Nintendo Switch Sports or something like that. But then you'll see, like, hey, Breath of the Wild, review embargoes on Wednesday. Super Mario Odyssey, review embargoes on Wednesday. Animal Crossing New Horizons, review embargoes on Wednesday. They're very consistent that most of their bigger games have a Wednesday review embargo. But Nintendo is different this time around. They picked Tuesday. Very, very interesting that Tuesday is the review embargo for Fire Emblem Engage. That means tomorrow we will know what the well media and select YouTubers and content creators know about Fire Emblem Engage, which is pretty exciting just to know that, hey, as of Tuesday, we can really get the hype going on this. Also, this could be a very highly reviewed game. I'll get into that in a moment. But what's interesting is the confidence to show the game now. Now, some people are going to turn this speculation on its head and go, well, maybe the re the review embargo is on Tuesday because Nintendo has something else going on on Wednesday. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're getting any directs or anything crazy this week. I think the Tuesday review embargo lift is because, one, Nintendo knows they want this game to get more attention, and two, they're supremely confident that there's going to be massive buzz heading into launch off the reviews, and they want those reviews out as soon as possible. Guys, Fire Emblem Three Houses debuted with an 89 on Metacritic and Open Critic. That's really good. What if Fire Emblem Engage is expected to review in the 90s instead? Once you start talking about a major game releasing in the 90s, you start getting into Game of the Year discussions. Now, I'm not saying Fire Emblem Engage has a shot against games like Tears of the Kingdom or Starfield, Redfall, uh, Forspoken, Final Fantasy 16. Look, there's a lot of really big games coming out this year, assuming everything hits its target release dates. But man, Fire Emblem Engage could end up being one of the highest reviewed Fire Emblems of all time, and I think that's what Nintendo is trying to tell us. We'll obviously know tomorrow when the review embargo lifts, if it actually lives up to that hype. But I think there's a lot of reasons to be excited for Fire Emblem Engage. For starters, if you're a huge fan of traditional Fire Emblem, whether it's the old school ones, pre-awakening, and on the GameCube and, and, and other systems, sweet. Or maybe it is the awakening style that you're really into. This game is really digs into classic Fire Emblem, and I like that. They're taking what was amazing in the past and simply perfecting it, not just from an animation standpoint, but it really looks like just from a gameplay standpoint, maybe even a storytelling standpoint, and even the new features they're throwing in. They're making all the systems integrate and work together like they are with the animal raising, which is really cool that you, you can uh, you know save a bunch of different animals throughout and, and put them in a shelter and, and, then, and then take them from the shelter and let them free roam and and obviously use them to help advance your, your advancement with other characters and build your relationships, make them stronger bonds, which help you in combat situations. I Look, this to me is fleshing out to be an amazing game, so much so that I really want to pick it up this week. So here's the way that I'm sort of sorting through this whole mess of stuff, and that is by saying, if Nintendo's saying the review embargo is on Tuesday, which Nintendo basically never does for any of their games on launch week, then they're telling you, we want people hyping this game up now. Before the Nintendo Prime podcast happens on Wednesday, we want you hyped now. Okay, that wouldn't really matter because reviews would still be out on that following Wednesday, but we'll have a good idea of where it's going to fall in the ratings. So 
what I did is put up a poll asking people, you know, their thoughts on where Fire Emblem Engage is going to rank. Is it going to be a 90 plus game, an 85 plus game, an 80 plus game, or somewhere in the 70s? I don't actually know where the poll results sit at the time of recording, but it'll be shown on screen. I personally think that this is going to end up being a 90 plus rated game. Fire Emblem Three Houses settled in at 89. I think we're going to settle in at least a 90, if not a smidge higher. I don't think we're talking 96, 97 territory, but I do think we're going to see the low 90s with this game across the board. Look, Fire Emblem Engage to me is really being overlooked by some Nintendo fans and for others that have been really interested in Fire Emblem before Three Houses are really missing out because the, I understand if you don't like the color palette or you're really critical of the main character. I think that's fine, valid criticism. You like what you like, you don't like what you don't like. But I think to dismiss an entire game in a genre you've previously enjoyed because you don't like a specific character design is a little weird. These are brand new characters. It's cool if you don't like their design. I don't like the design of all the characters in Breath of the Wild. I'm not going to suddenly write off the game. And I understand you might go, but Nate, we're talking about like, hey, if this was the character design of Link, I don't like. Well, that's cool. Good thing I don't spend a majority of the time looking at Link's face when I'm fighting people. You don't really spend a majority of your time in that in Fire Emblem. I know a bit more. They have their avatars on screen. They dance around. I get it. But maybe there's other really cool characters that you like a lot and you think are expertly designed that you might not find out about because you wrote the game off. I'm just saying Fire Emblem Engage looks incredible, sounds incredible. The marketing in Japan for this game has been off the charts. A little bit less so here. I was watching a Player Essence video on this topic earlier and he noted something that I wasn't thinking about, and that was that possibly we're seeing a bit, a little bit less marketing here from Nintendo themselves because they have marketing deals with like IGN or GameSpot. So the, this whole week we're going to start seeing several minutes of gameplay and all that leading into release. Whereas in Japan, there's not really a whole bunch of outlets doing that. So Nintendo feels like they have to market a lot because there aren't media outlets to do that for them. They feel like here, hey, instead of us spending money and, and making this stuff ourselves, Let's just let, you know, you know, creators and, 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 and review outlets do it for us. So, yeah, I, I think there's just a difference in marketing strategies, and I think both of them work. But, yes, this game looks incredible. I think it's going to review really well. Nintendo seems supremely confident with that Tuesday drop. And, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about Fire Emblem Engage and how excited you are down in the comments below. Now, before we move on, I just want to note, I don't know how much you guys are going to notice because uh, I'm not sure what it's going to look like yet, but... Our entire setup here is getting torn down and rebuilt today. Uh, we're not changing, you know, stuff here like like when you see the TV and stuff. And and th this isn't going anywhere just yet. Uh, there'll eventually be something different here. That's later this year. But uh, I came to a revelation today that's going to simplify a lot of things for me. I don't know how different it's going to look on camera for you guys. Uh, at least in some regards, some some shots, and it depends on how I set it up might look a little different, but it'll be really simplified. And we'll put images and stuff up of what the setup was before compared to what the setup is now uh, later. But uh, so you can maybe get a better idea, maybe even on Twitter or on our community section to show people, hey, this is what I was rocking before. Now let's look at how simple it is now. I don't know. <sighs> it's a really big change uh, and it's gonna take a lot of time. So thank you guys for tuning in. That's what I'll be spending the rest of my day doing. Until tonight, I will see you guys tonight on a live stream. We should be back up and running by then. All right, guys, catch you in the next video.